Okay, hey guys. Well, I gotta tell you what. This top is one I've been thinking about for a long time. Uh, a couple months in the making. And it is an unbelievable top. There is no other top like this anywhere in the world, I guarantee it. Uh, I'm using what's called Stay Fast. But Hearts Cloth Stay Fast which is a, uh, it's a fabric on the outside. It's a fabric on the inside, but it has a rubber membrane in between. Mercedes, Porsche, Mazda, a lot of the uh, higher end car companies uh, use it on their convertible tops. And uh, so I'm gonna do a try here. Let's take a look at this while I have it upside down on the hood. Uh, as you can see, the Velcro, instead of the OEM two inch, we've talked about it before, I have a 20 inch in the center, a 20 inch on each side of that, as well in the front, split at the 10 inch mark. That makes it easier to wrap around and around your crossover tubes because you'll be fighting it if I didn't do that. Also for the B pillar, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heavy duty tie down straps, double stitched. So this thing is gonna be really nice and quiet on the road for you guys putting the uh, bigger engines in them and doing the 80 mile an hour highway speeds. Uh, your conventional top was not intended for that. So a good chance that that Velcro is just gonna rip out of that and who knows what's gonna happen to the top. Uh, so in having that in my mind, I'm trying to uh, think of what I need to do to make sure that there aren't any issues going down the road for you guys that have the higher speed trucks. Also inside, I have on this one, a Reflectix insulation and a heavy duty foam sandwiched together. It starts off with a Reflectix insulation and then a high density quarter inch foam. The two are married, glued together really, and then I slide them in to the pockets that I created. All the way across. Then they're not only going to be taped down, this is a double face tape made especially for this. It's trapped in here. And when I sew the rain gutter on the outside, that also gives it another, uh, you know, place where it is trapped into the panel. But it makes it still makes it easy to fold, rather than have it go the whole way and stitch down the center. Uh, this is, I think, is a much better way to do it. And over top of that, I did the canine. Uh, black mesh this is what they use in you know where they keep dogs kennels and dogs can't chew through it or rip it apart and so that makes it a really good uh, product to use for my tops so I'm trying to keep them as strong as possible and use the highest quality materials I can find so with that being said let's go ahead and put this on the truck and it is a heavy one so, like I've said before, there's a good chance I'm going to be fighting this. But we're going to give it a try. Get it to a point where gravity won't pull it back out of that C channel. I should be able to grab it over here and pull it all the way across. Even with all that added extra weight, it still comes across pretty nicely. And I take it right to where it touches the mirrors and then throw it up and over. <clears throat> now in throwing it up and over, it's probably going to not be centered as it was originally, but that's okay. We can move it around. 
as you can see I'm fighting it more than I normally do because of the extra weight with that insulation and foam pull it back over this way But it really is a pretty top. Still needs to go over the other way just slightly. And it'll have it dead center. Yep, that's it. up here in the back and kind of give it a tug. Now I don't have the rear curtain quite finished for this yet. It's the same material. With the Stratoglass, which is a premium uh, material that they use in boats. Uh, supposedly clearer, uh, less likely to scratch. Everything's lining up very nicely. Go ahead and twist them all on. Like I said before, you can use the rain gutters to pull it down a little so you can uh, get them around those twist connectors easier. Now, I'm not going to do all the, the straps or the Velcro or any of that right now. You guys have seen me do it before, so you get the hint on how that works. But I will show you the inside. This also has the uh, black anodized grommets. So let's take a look at the top. Here I've connected a couple of the heavy duty straps. You can see where those go on your B pillar. And I've, I've told you guys before, if you're not watching my videos and you order a top, you're gonna need these. This is much better than the Velcro, okay? And then here you can see where that 20 inch piece on each side and in the center really holds down this top nicely. Okay, as we take a walk around the top here, you can see that it is cloth. It's not vinyl. Need to do a final cleanup and I need to seal it yet, the stitching. It's waterproof, but where the stitches are, you know, like we've talked about it before, that's a, that's a breach. So I need to make sure that that is sealed. And we'll take a, a walk up on top here. get it nice and clean and you can see that extra padding almost an insulated top but not quite it doesn't have all the stitching going uh, perpendicular to uh, to this which causes even more issues so again this is the hearts cloth stay fast premium material and this is not for you guys that are out uh, off-roading on the weekends. This is more for the guys that really are customizing their trucks and they want a nice top uh, that, uh, you know, 
goes with all the work they put into their truck. Uh, for everybody else, I highly recommend a vinyl. You can hose it off and it, it will just be a lot better for the off-roading gang. So, but anyway, uh, if any questions, give me a call or uh, send me a private message. Tell me what you think.